Did the old prophets actually meet angels on top of mountains? Or were they highly intelligent beings from a galaxy far, far away? Welcome to UFOlogy, where we explore the truth about alien life. Because let's face it, we're not alone, and the evidence is everywhere. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the lost civilization of Atlantis. What is Atlantis? Atlantis means the island of Atlas in ancient Greek. It's an island mentioned in the philosopher Plato's works, Timaeus and Critias. In his writing, Atlantis is an antagonistic naval power that besieges ancient Athens. This version of ancient Athens isn't the historical city-state itself. Instead, it's an embodiment of Plato's ideal state that he describes in the Republic. In the story, Athens repels the Atlantean attack while all other nations fail. This proves the superiority of Plato's concept of a state. Despite their advanced technology, Atlantis fails to conquer Athens. The story concludes with Atlantis falling out of favor with the deities. It then incurs their wrath and sinks into the Atlantic Ocean. According to Plato, who lived in 360 BC, these events took place more than 9,000 years before his time. What's strange is that in that 9,000-year gap, no other writers wrote about Atlantis. Could there have been a cover-up? Influence on popular culture Atlantis wasn't a major focus of Plato's work. It was there as an example to prop up Athens. Despite that, the famed lost civilization has had a considerable impact on the public consciousness. The allegorical aspect of Atlantis was explored by several Renaissance writers. This includes Francis Bacon's New Atlantis and Thomas More's Utopia. On the other hand, 19th century amateur scholars took Plato's words literally. They interpreted them as historical traditions. Ignatius L. Donnelly argued for the existence of Atlantis in his book, Atlantis, The Antediluvian World. Plato wasn't really specific with the timescale and location of Atlantis. All he stated was that it existed more than 9,000 years ago, beyond the Pillars of Hercules. This gave rise to much speculation. Creative minds have also used Atlantis in numerous media. For example, Marvel and DC both wrote about separate distinct versions of the famed underwater kingdom. As a consequence, Atlantis has become a byword for any supposed advanced prehistoric lost civilizations. It continues to inspire contemporary fiction from comic books to films. The Search Over the centuries, archaeologists and other curious individuals have attempted to locate Atlantis. Numerous teams have claimed they've found the city's location. It's popped up everywhere, from Antarctica to Bolivia to Turkey and even the Caribbean. In the years after Columbus brought news of the New World back to Europe, many claimed that America was the fabled Atlantis. But the search gained steam in the 20th and 21st centuries. Most seekers take Plato's directions to heart. In front of the mouth which you Greeks call the Pillars of Hercules, there lay an island which was larger than Libya and Asia together. These descriptions led archaeologist Merlin Burroughs to the Spanish coast near the Strait of Gibraltar. There, his team found potential clues. This included large circles that were the bases of ancient towers. They believed these ruins to be the famed Temple of Poseidon, there was also a greenish-blue patina coating some of the ruins. The team also found the remains of a long seawall, as well as signs of a tsunami. This could be evident by the cataclysmic event that drowned the Society of Atlantis. Some searchers also point to historical evidence of a volcanic eruption in 1600 BC. This eruption destroyed parts of the island of Santorini, wiping out Minoan settlements. Perhaps the destruction of Atlantis was a retelling of these events. In 2018, another team announced with much fanfare that they had found concrete proof of Atlantis. Their key evidence was a series of circles in a national park in Spain. 
Unfortunately, those circles turned out to be a modern construction. They were experimental ponds created in 2004 and 2005 for a study involving zooplankton. Till today, no team has found concrete proof of Atlantis. Advanced Tech According to Plato, Atlantis possessed technology superior to their neighbors. Their city-state consisted of concrete circles and towering temples. Due to their superiority, they conquered many other nations. Scholars believed this merely meant that they had better swords and shields. But some theorists claimed that Atlanteans had everything from flying machines to communication devices. One notable example that Plato gave was their Orichalcum pillar. Orichalcum means of unknown origin, referring to the composition of the metal. It was placed in the center of Atlantis. On this pillar, their laws were inscribed. The pillar shone with a reddish light and was associated with the god Poseidon. Present-day metallurgists believe Orichalcum was a mixture of copper and zinc. This would have made it sturdy, and the pillar would shine brightly when illuminated by sunlight. In 2015, some divers discovered ingots of Orichalcum in a Greek shipwreck. But that raises another question. Zinc doesn't exist freely in nature. It has to be processed from other sources. The people of that time didn't have such technological prowess. So where did they gain the knowledge from? Perhaps the gods taught them. Ancient Sumerian myths contain a similar motif, where the gods descended to teach man gold mining techniques. We've covered this in a previous video. Conspiracy theorists believe these gods were aliens helping humanity advance. Though, if Atlantis had such advanced tech and the help of aliens, why didn't any of that save them? Or maybe they were saved. Some theorists suggest that Atlanteans fled and scattered across the world. There, they would use their advanced alien tech to uplift local civilizations. If the Atlanteans were also alien hybrids, they could have intermarried and spread their genes further. For thousands of years, stories about Atlantis have captivated the public imagination. It's safe to say that lost civilization is of great interest to everyone. As for firm evidence of its existence, there is none yet, unfortunately. Still, archaeologists are always ready to jump on any potential leads. Maybe they'll discover something new in time. Make sure to comment below on what your thoughts are. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to tune in next week.